Hello everybody, Luke Schulte, I'm a field agronomist for Bex Hybrids. Today we're staying at the London, Ohio PFR site and we're evaluating different fungicides as well as different timing. So in this study, we're looking at a new product from FMC designed to be used with the planter pass in Furrow 2x2 called Zyway LFR. And then we're looking at how well does that fare compared to our more traditional application timings of just post tassel or right at that R1 timing. So Zyway LFR is a new product from FMC. It's an active ingredient we've had for some time, but it's a new product formulation designed to be used in Furrow 2x2, but it's designed to use it to be used to control diseases season long. Diseases like northern corn leaf blight, gray leaf spot, even crown rot or fusarium that causes crown rot or that premature plant death. What is encouraging is the results we saw last year as well as what we're seeing this year. So in 2020, we got a small sample size. We only had enough product to put a single entry. So normally in our PFR studies, we have three reps, maybe even four reps, which gives us the confidence of the data. However, our single rep entry a year ago, yield levels, we were very encouraged. Even late in the growing season, corn was nearing that dose stage and you could still detect uh, less disease within that planter treatment of Zywe used in furrow. Fast forward to 2021 and our optimism continues to grow. In this study behind me, we're actually seeing equal, maybe even lower disease pressure in this planter application done several months ago versus these treatments of good quality fungicides, but they were only applied three to four weeks ago. So our optimism continues to grow for that as well as this. So a study that was done in the UK, you can see the information in front of you, looked at multiple different uh, active ingredients on the market today. Now you may not identify with near all those and that's okay, but I wanted to point out Zywe, which is in the upper right of this graph in front of you. What this data exemplifies in front of you is how well it sticks around in the soil and how, how well it moves throughout that plant. So as you move up on that chart, Flutriophal or Zywe, you can see how well it uh, remains persistent in our soil. Meaning it's not gonna break down and decompose and go away very quickly. And then when you move from left to right, that exemplifies how well it moves throughout that plant. Marty Chilvers also looked at this. Marty Chilvers is out of Michigan State. He dissected a corn plant at about this growth stage, R3, so like sweet corn stage. And he looked at, was there a detectable level of this particular active ingredient that was applied at planting still present within the different plant components? As you can see on the chart in front of you, there was not only a detectable level, but a significant level in all the different plant structures, the leaves particularly, the roots, and even the stalk. Further encouraging that is our observations. Behind me, we're actually seeing equal, maybe even lower disease pressure with this application that was done months ago versus these good quality products that were designed to be used post-tassel. Zywe can be used in furrow or two by two. This past season, some growers that were planting into cool soils did see a delayed emergence, about 25 to 30 GDUs delayed emergence. To my knowledge, it didn't hurt emergence, but we know we don't necessarily want a delayed, emer a delayed emergence. We saw it at our Kentucky PFR site as well. What's also uh, encouraging about the applicability of this particular product is our capability of using a two by two. That seems to be a good, happy medium. I would expect uh, very similar results versus used in furrow. That young corn seedling doesn't necessarily need uh, an additional fungicide because if you have a good quality seed treatment, that's gonna protect that young corn seedling early on. But then as it develops that seminal root system, that nodal root system, it's gonna get into that two by two application to provide us that disease suppression that we're looking for. So the results are remaining to be seen, but our optimism continues to grow by the day, both from 2020, as well as what we're seeing in the field this next year. Be sure to tune in this fall as you see our PFR book that comes out in November, December for the results of this study. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.